welcome back we have a bleeder this is not supposed to be there it's red color basically this rug is a hamadan rug and so what happened was it sat in water because of a flood for a couple days and the red dyes are fugitive so today we're going to correct it so here's the product i'm going to use today magic from master blend As you can see it's not cheap but it seems to be doing the the job so i've got the master blend mix according to directions i basically mix it in a regular measuring cup i have a steamer i believe i got the steamer at big lots just real cheap but it does the job so i have this bucket here because anytime i start the steamer we've got a lot of water before it gets started so anytime i start the steamer i'm going to get put it in there first you let, let all the water and get live steam so the idea is to use the magic apply it on there they say using a paintbrush uh, I'll be using an airbrush similar to just like this and I've already got a small compressor so an airbrush I'm gonna apply it onto the spot I'm gonna steam it in and then extract it out and I am basically I've got a small spotting extractor that I'll uh, use to extract it out and I'll run all fiber ends through it so let's get started on this little medallion let's go let's work on this medallion right here so I've already got this almost done I got to do a few finishing touches on it but just for illustration let's do this medallion here so first of all let's get it with the airbrush This is a very cheap airbrush, so I have to so I put it in bursts. That's when I get the most li liquid out of it. And just for fun, we're going to go ahead and just get started on this. I'll stop right there, halfway through. That'll give you an idea how we do. Call that good. So I've got that on there, so let's go ahead and steam it in. Okay, fire up the steamer. Got full steam. Roll it back and forth over it. Make sure you get a good even application. Wouldn't do maybe we did half of this little stair step, so let's see how 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 we did. You can see the fugitive dyes have been re removed and stripped off. So there's a few little spots there I'm going to go ahead and just touch up, but I'd say we call this a success. And that's it. I have a using a spotting machine. You can also use a portable. That would be nice, or if you just if you're just a truck mount only, that would be fine too. You're going to use a lot of gas just sitting there idling it and starting it. But here's the finished product. You can see I'm probably going to just re maybe hit those fibers there just to make sure. And this here, I'd say we're pretty much done. And so I've got probably quite a few areas on this carpet.